Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I share with you how I made these lovely ornament orbs. So if you're interested, then please keep watching. So for this project, we're going to be using the following items. I have here from the Dollar Tree a five-piece ornament set, some faux snow, some extra fine glitter in silver, and one of their DIY ornament orbs. Also, we're going to be needing some Mod Podge or white glue, whichever you prefer. And I have here also some extra crystal glitter. Alrighty guys, so after taking our faux snow and the glitter and mixing it up in a little container, we are now going to take our snowball or bulb. And I did use a burning tool to make a little hole here at the end. I use this one. I'll leave the link to it down below in the description box. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take our Elmer's glue or Mod Podge, whatever you decide to use, and we're just going to cover up this snowball. Why do I keep on saying snowball? The ornament bulb. We're just going to cover it all up with the glue. Cover it, cover it, cover it. It doesn't have to be thick at all. And then, once that is done, we are going to take our faux snow with the glitter and we're just going to pour it over. Okay. Pour it over, shake it off. Looks all nice and shimmery already, right? And then, I'm going to do it all the way around. This is why we put a plate on the bottom, guys. There it is. You can see it's all the way around. You can tap it. Shake off the excess. See if there's any spots that still need to be filled. And put it on the side to dry. Alrighty, everyone. So now that our ornament is dry, Looks nice and shimmery, doesn't it? What we're going to do is we're going to take one of the smaller Dollar Tree ornaments. And remember in my last video, I couldn't for the life of me remember where I purchased these or how long ago. But they're very pretty and I like them. So we're just going to loop it through the top here of our ornament. And what we're essentially going to create, guys, is an orb. We're going to create an ornament orb. Okay, so I want to do this first to get it out the way. Like so. Then, we're going to take our ornament and we're going to glue it, hot glue it to the top here. We'll make sure it's as centered as possible. And there we are. Kind of looks like a discombobulated snowman, but no. And so then, in this little part here, where we see this little, the lip of the bigger snowball ornament, I cut some of, I pre-cut some of these Dollar Tree, um, diamond mesh and we're just going to hot glue it here to the top part here of the ornament. Always 
reminding you guys to be careful because Hakko is hot. Once that is glued down and dry, remember that little hole that we made here at the bottom? I bought these beautiful um, shatterproof ornaments at the at-home store. These essentially are four for two dollars. So we're just gonna hot glue it into that little hole there, guys. And this is how it would look. So this is our beautiful orb. I think it looks nice. It's pretty big guys too. So this is just one way you can embellish these Dollar Tree ornaments. Another way to embellish these Dollar Tree ornaments is to take one of these and pretty much like I did with the other ones you just do a hole through here on the bottom and then we're just going to take one of these longer ornaments and we'll hot glue them right through the hole here and that one is a nice little sphere as well so We'll be right back. And here we have it, everyone. Our finished look. What do you think? Think they came out pretty cute and glamorous. Farm glam theme is what I'm going for this year, so hopefully I'm getting it. And like I said before, you guys may embellish this any which way you like. You choose your color scheme and whatever ornaments you may have at home because some of these I've had here for a while and I just decided to repurpose them so yeah guys you do you so with that being said I hope you like this video if you did please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already done so please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video with that being said, once again, I thank you for watching and blessings to you all.